2016 Pacific Tigers. Number one, Alexis Hollenrake. Number one, A, Megan Mead. Number one, Mia Harris. Number three, Brindley Barthol. Number four, Ailish Gwynn. Number six, Ellen Tiedman. Number nine, Megan Torrey. Number 10, Victoria Smodich. Number 11, Hannah Rapp. Number 12, Carolina Halabata. Number 13, Morgan Hurley. Number 14, Lauren Holden. Number 16, Katie Mankey. Number 17, Elise Whittle. And number 22, Rachel Krieger. Head coach James Graham. Good afternoon and welcome to Chris Kelton Pool as we get set for the first women's water polo home game of the season as the Tigers return home for the first time after playing their first 23 games this season on the road. The Tigers ranked number 12 in the nation, 9-14 overall, 2-0 in Golden Coast Conference play. We'll be taking on the Fresno Pacific Sunbirds here this afternoon. The Sunbirds 9-11 overall on the season 1-3 in Golden Coast Conference play as we get set for the opening sprint. Paul Meiskin is here. Glad he could join us. First of five home games over about a 
week and a half span. Goalkeepers here this afternoon. Megan Knee will be in goal for the Tigers, the redshirt junior from Chino Hills, while Courtney Hall, the junior from Porterville, will be in goal for the Sunbirds as the opening sprint is won by Teenman for Pacific, and the Tigers will have the first opportunity to go on attack. Tigers in the black caps with white numbers going from right to left, while the Sunbirds in the white caps going from left to right. Back to Tiedman. Goes to the opposite side of the pool to Alavata. Now up top to Krieger. Shot clock down to six. Tigers look down low for Gwynn and now an exclusion. So the Tigers will have a six on five opportunity here in the first minute. Looking for the shot and throwing it over the top is Krieger. So 42 followed by Krieger with 32. Tigers three leading offensive options so far this season as now the Sunbirds will have a six on five opportunity. The Tigers have been doing a good job defending shorthanded situations. They've killed 18 of the last 20 shorthanded situations. And now we'll have to kill it here to not give up an early goal as Sunbirds switch sides of the pool and losing the grip there before going back up top. Shot clock down to 10 and the shot off the post and then stayed by knee as that shot from Stevens didn't quite have enough on it to get over the line. The wind certainly is starting to pick up. You can probably see the water moving and hear it in the microphone as the Tigers a clear shot there and skipped in. Megan so Megan Torrey, the senior from Stockton, skips it past the goalkeeper Hall and the Tigers in front, one nothing here with 16 to go in the first quarter. That's Torrey's 17th goal on the season. Apodaca gets it over to Guthausen. Now back to Apodaca who will unleash a long range shot and finds the top left corner. So the very next possession after the Tigers take the lead, the Sunbirds answer Apodaca with the long range goal and we are tied at one. Tigers coming into this afternoon have won two straight. They won at Loyola Marymount 9-8 and at Cal Baptist 10-9. So a pair of one goal wins and able to save that as Hall. And now in exclusion, Ailish Gwynn will head off. And so a six on five opportunity once again for the Sunbirds. Apodaca, Stevens, and now it comes back to Apodaca, who has a little too much on that pass to the opposite side of the pool. Shot clock down to six, and they will just dump it into the corner right in front of the Tigers bench and head coach James Graham, who was in his fourth season as the women's coach here at Pacific. Also, the coach of the men's team is the long pass there. And now back up top to Halavata. Just over three minutes in here in the first quarter. Tigers and Sunbirds tied at one. 
Tory's goal put the Tigers in front before Apodaca answered for the Sunbirds. Not a lot going on offensively here for the Sunbirds. Shot clock under 10. A lot of contact, and once again, the Sunbirds will just dump it into the corner. Another great defensive possession there from the Tigers. Well, outside of the the shot and goal from Apodaca, the Sunbirds offense is out of tough time just getting off a shot against the Tigers' defense. And right in front. The save made by Hall. The Sunbirds will go on the six on five as Torrey will head off. So the third six on five opportunity already here in the first quarter for the Sunbirds. So mentioned entering today 18 of 20. They've killed so far now 21 of 25. Or 21 of 23, excuse me, as that lob shot goes off the top and over as Smodic, the freshman from Hungary, tried to put some touch on that shot and it just went over. I mentioned Smodic leads the, t or second on the team, I should say, with 42 goals. So she's had an outstanding freshman season. It's under three minutes ago here in the first quarter. A Sunbird loses her cap, and now the Tigers look for the counter. And it's chance here one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper and able to get the ball in past the goalkeeper, Hawk. Got screwed by the referee from where I'm sitting. So Tori, her second goal of the afternoon. And the Tigers lead 2-1 to one here with... 2.34 to go in the first quarter. So Torrey's second goal on the afternoon. Now 18 on the season for the senior from Stockton. The Tigers will make a couple changes. It's like Whittall could have been one of those Two changes. Now, before we resume, we're taking care of a loose cap. Two thirty to go here in the first quarter. Tigers leading two one in their home opener. As that long range shot goes off the post and chasing it down will be knee. And now exclusion there an exclusion against the Sunbirds number 11 Hansen. And right after the exclusion, timeout is called by head coach James Graham. So Tigers will set up a Six on five opportunity here. The Tigers have played a very challenging schedule so far this season. They've played twenty-two ranked teams in their twenty-three games or twenty-one. It's like all but two of their games have been against teams ranked in the top 25. Um, thus, despite the nine and 14 overall record, the Tigers number 12 in the nation. Right now in first place in the Golden Coast Conference and certainly has to be considered the favorite, although come conference play and a Tigers tomorrow will be Back here at Chris Kelton Pool for a one o'clock game against number 20 ranked San Diego State. And then next weekend, the Tigers 
on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Play at 12 noon on each of the those three days. And that's it for the the home portion of the schedule. Five, with, uh, Five home tonight. games in nine days. As the Tigers go on the six on five here with just over two minutes to go in the first quarter. Top two, Krieger. Over to Zmodic. And Zmodic fires it in. Zmodic with the goal. Pass Tigers Hall. 3 1. So One minute and the freshman from the Hungary, her 43rd goal of the season. And the Tigers now in front, three to one here with 158 to go. Shooter over to Holly, and now Woodruff. Lobs it in the middle and it goes right to the Tigers. Tigers with a counter opportunity here. And Zmodic originally goes back and now throws it forward. A chance here for Tori. Tori with Megan nice Tori patience with the there. The senior out of Stockton, and obviously feeling at home. That's a hat trick in the first quarter. Tori, her third runs. goal of the first Four quarter. And the, the Tigers first. now lead four to one. So Tigers had it. A counter chance and Zmodic at first started to go back and then turned around and threw it forward and Tori was off and good patience. Her third career hat trick. We're not even seven minutes in to the game. The Sunbird is now wearing the number 19 cap. So the Tigers in front four to one over a minute to go here in the first quarter. And that long range shot goes over the top. Long shot there by Apoda. The Sunbirds. Me with the fresh pack. And that shot off the post and off the goalkeeper's hands, but unfortunately he didn't have enough to go over the goal line before Hall was able to recover. And now an offensive turnover, and now the Tigers with a great scoring chance here. Halabata one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. And Halabata easily Carolina scores there. The nice so Halabata, the Fighting sophomore up, from the one, Czech one, Republic, with her first goal of the afternoon. Her Team best 48th goal on the season, and the Tigers now lead 5 1 here in the first with 22 seconds to go. Well, the Tigers have scored four straight to lead 5 1. As the Sunbirds will hold for one last scoring chance here. It's outside of their goal from Apodaca. Their offense has struggled just to get shots off. Let's see. Do it over here. And now trying to go down low, and that'll be an exclusion called against the Tigers. And the shot at the final seconds is deflected and finds its way in. Number 14. So. Story is 5 1. And that will do it for the first quarter. Shot there from Rachel Cleaver, Wyatt. Find links to the following live at the
Welcome back to Chris Kelton Pool as we head to the second quarter with the Pacific Tigers in front, 5-2 over the Fresno Pacific Sunbirds. Tigers scored four straight goals before the Sunbirds were able to capitalize on a six on five in the final second of the first quarter. As Apodaca scored her second goal of the first quarter to cut the deficit down to three as we get set for the sprint to start the second quarter. Tigers won the sprint in the first as it'll be Tiedman for the Tigers. against Shear for the Sunbirds. And once again, the Tigers win the opening sprint as Tiedman won by a good three or four strokes. Tigers in the first quarter were one for two on the six on five, while the Sunbirds one for four, capitalizing there in the final second of the quarter as that long range shot off the crossbar and the long rebound all the way back out to the middle of the pool to Krieger. So second chance here to start the second quarter for the Tigers as the Tigers turn it over. Tigers in the first quarter led by Megan Torrey who tied her career high for goals in a game just in the first quarter with three goals for the senior from Stockton while Zmodic and Halavata also with a goal apiece. Another exclusion called against the Tigers. Exclusion there on number 12 for the Tigers, Carolina. So, Malavata will head off, and once again, a six on five opportunity for the Sunbirds. Started 0 for 3 before capitalizing on their last one, but they won't capitalize there as that shot at the near post easily saved by goalkeeper Megan Nee. The one goal during normal play that got past knee was from distance, and the six on five took a deflection on its way towards goal. It's really Tigers in the first quarter played very tough defense, made it very difficult for the Sunbirds just to get shots off. More than a few possessions, the Sunbirds had to just dump it into the corner in the final seconds of the shot clock. Very vocal head coach James Graham yelling at Carolina to get up and that pass will find the middle of a, several Tigers as the shot clock was going off. So another possession goes by without a shot for the Sunbirds as that outlet pass finds Tiedman. Now over to Halavata. Smodic back up top to Halavata who will fire and it'll go off the crossbar and a bit of a dangerous play there is the Sunbirds got the rebound and flipped it back to their goalkeeper but it almost went right to Ailish Gwynn as she turned around a little quicker she would have had an easy short shot for a goal yes. Long range shot over the top of the goal. It's over three minutes into the second quarter here. Still 5-2. Tigers in front. As Krieger over to Tiedman and gets it back, although she had it slipped off her hand before recovering and unleashing a long range shot. Sunburst. Tigers this season have outscored their opponents by 11 in the second quarter. They're All right now, it's almost midway through the second quarter without a goal on either side. As that long range shot is able to get off the post and 
find its way across. Five, three. Like so that goal by Caitlin Grudhausen, the junior from Fresno, who's now wearing the 19 cap after losing her number three cap. So two straight goals now by the Sunbirds, the goal to end the first quarter, and now the opening goal here in the second quarter, and it's five to three. And the Tigers turn it over. Sloppy play there. And now an exclusion. Not an exclusion. I beg your pardon. That pass looking for Ponce. Goes over her head, chases it down and gets it back to Grudhausen who just scored to make it five to three. And now that shot from Woodruff is pulled down by knee. Smoted over to Krieger. And looking for Gwen, and she tried to quickly grab it and shoot, and, and out of the never really had a good grip on it. Sunbird's looking for Knowles in the center. Now she'll give it back before they go right back to her but a whistle there will give it back to the Tigers looking for someone to throw it up to and finally gets it to Zmodic and finally they're able to get it in front to Gwynn and a little too much on that lob shot over the top Probably had a little more time than she realized there to settle and get a more accurate shot, but she tried to touch shot over the top of the keeper, and unfortunately it went over the top of the goal as well as that shot goes over the top of the goal and lands on top of the net. Just over two minutes to go here in the first quarter, or in the second quarter, Tigers in front 5-3, and a chance here one-on-one -on -one. her new career high as she had her third career hat trick with three goals in the first quarter and then the goal here so Tori the senior from Stockton her career high afternoon four goals now for Tori and the Tigers lead 6-3 here in the second quarter Tori now 20 goals on the season. And an exclusion against the Tigers. So the sixth six on five opportunity for the Sunbirds is that evens now it works away and once again off the crossbar and this time the rebound taken by Zmodic for the Tigers. Just over a minute to go here in the first half. Tigers in front, 6-3. It was 5-2 after one quarter of play. Both teams with a goal here in the second. As the long range shot looking for the upper right corner goes wide and over the top. And we're under a minute to go here in the first half. The home opener for the Tigers The Tigers and Sunbirds play here in a Golden Coast Conference matchup. And nice save there by knee. Tigers will have a chance here with it. 
Five stays on the afternoon, and that goes off the post and in. Zmodic with the long range shot. Her second goal of the afternoon, and so with 10 seconds to go in the first half, Zmodic's 44th goal on the season, and the Tigers lead 7 3. Couple changes here by the Tigers. Let's see if the Summers even get off a shot here. And they do the long range shot. Easily pulled down by knee. So that'll do it for the first half of play. As the Tigers in front, 7-3, we'll take a break and be back with the second half. You're watching Pacific Water Polo on PacificTigers.com.
Welcome back to Chris Kelton Pool as we get set for the second half with the Pacific Tigers in front, 7 3. Paul Meisling here, glad you could join us for the home opener of the 2016 season for the Tigers as the opening sprint will be won by the Tigers once again, as this time it's Halavata who wins the sprint. So the Tigers 3 for 3 on the sprints to open the quarter as Tiedman won each of the first two before Halavata won the one there. And an offensive foul called against the Tigers. The Tigers here in the second half will be going from left to right in the black caps while the Sunbirds in the white caps going from right to left here in the second half. Tigers leading 7-3. It was 5-2 after a quarter of play. It was cut to 5-3 before two goals by the Tigers to end the first half as Good help defense, defense there as Halavata will come over and take it away. In the first half, Megan Torrey with four goals, a career high for her to lead the offense for the Tigers while Zamodic with two and Halavata with one. And there's the second goal of the afternoon for Halavata. As that'll put the lead back to five as Halavata, her second goal on the afternoon. 49 goals now on the season for the sophomore from the Czech Republic. In the first half, the Sunbirds to 19 Sunbirds after losing her number three cap is Tigers Back on the attack, working around finding Halavata with all sorts of room, and Halavata right over the head of Courtney Hall. So Halavata, her second goal of the half, her 50th goal on the season. That brings up 50 goals for Carolina Ilavata of the season. Round of applause for Carolina, please. And. Announced that that was her 50th goal of the season of the crowd and gives her a nice applause. She is the 22nd Pacific player ever with a 50 goal season. As her hat trick here this afternoon puts her at 50. Tigers leading scorer. Zamoda's second on the team with 44. Besides her 50th goal of the season, that her 75th goal of her Tiger career, and just a sophomore, so certainly the number will continue to grow higher and higher over the next couple years as that long-range pass taken away by Zmodic. Zmodic with the steal. Nice outlet pass there to Halavata, who flips it in the middle and finds Krieger, who lobs it. And a nice save there by the goalkeeper, Hall. And now timeout called by the Sunbirds. A 30-second timeout called by head coach Brian Zahovi. And they'll actually make it a full timeout. So the Tigers in front here, 9-3. to three. Just over two and a half minutes into the third quarter. This is the first time this season these two teams have met. Tigers. We'll be back home tomorrow afternoon for a one o'clock game against number 20 ranked San Diego State. And then next Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the final three home games of the season against Azusa Pacific. Friday at noon and then Saturday at noon against Concordia before the toughest test for the Tigers will be next Saturday, or Sunday, excuse me, when they face number six, UC Irvine. 
Tigers faced UC Irvine earlier this season at the Stanford Invitational and lost 11-6. So the Tigers will have a chance on senior day next week to avenge that loss against UC Irvine in a non-Golden Coast Conference matchup before the Tigers end the regular season at Santa Clara on the 23rd and then they'll head to the Golden Coast the final weekend of April and hopefully NCAA tournament after that is time or the timeout has come to an end. Tigers leading 9-3. It was 5-2 after a quarter of play. The lead was cut to 5-3 before two goals by the Tigers ended the first half with the Tigers in front 7-3 and now two goals here to start the second half has the Tigers in front 9-3 as they look to extend their two game winning streak and right now it looks like they are well on their way to do so and not have to sweat out a one goal come from behind win like they have the last two games as Tigers with a comfortable six goal lead Sunbirds knee long pass to in for I want to say the first time this afternoon and now in front to Whittle. And she's sworn by a couple Sunbirds. And now contact foul called against the Sunbirds. We'll give it right back to the Tigers. Hurley to Holden. And now Barthels. <laughs> Pass in the center looking for Whittall taken away. Woodruff back to Grudhausen. And an exclusion called and then a quick <laughs> shot yeah. and a great save well, there Megan by Megan, Megan Nee. The as they the Sunbirds had a great oh, chance definitely. there on the six on five Three right in front and Nee down. gets the hands up and makes the save. So the Sunbirds now just one for seven on the six on five. As the Tigers have done an outstanding job as of late defending shorthanded situations. They've now defended 24 of their last 27 shorthanded situations. Shot clock down to two and the Padaka with it. She has two goals on the afternoon to lead the Sunbirds offense. And has had a tough time just getting good clear looks at the goal. Tigers in front 9-3. Barthels and now the referee wants the ball. Double exclusion. Mankey excluded for the Tigers. Seven seconds remaining in the shot clock. Two twenty seven in the period. So it looks like it was a Krudhausen, the excluded Sunbird player. Now, bit of a delay here. Every home Pacific Athletics event and most. I believe we're looking for a cap. 
online via the West Coast Conference Online Network, the W.TV. You can find these links to Pacific events on PacificTargets.com. Tigers lead 9-3, 2.27 to go here in the third quarter. Megan Torrey, four goals on the afternoon for the Tigers, a career high. Halavata, three goals. Now 50 on the season, and it's Modic, two, as the Tigers lead 9-3. And now with two on the shot clock, the Tigers go into center, and the shot clock will go off without a shot. And now a yellow card has been shown. Two minutes to go here in the third quarter. Uh, the home opener for the Tigers is here in front, nine to three. Make that nine to four. Go there to the Sunbirds. As number 11. Hannah, or excuse me, as Kaylee Hansen with the goal for the Sunbirds. The senior from Santa Maria, California. Scores the first goal of the second half for the Sunbirds to cut the lead back down to five with a minute 52 to go here in the third quarter. Zmoditz with it here on the near side. Closely guarded by Shear. And now it's Modic back with it. In front, tons of contact, and there's an exclusion. So the Tigers, a six on five opportunity, and they quickly capitalize. As Rachel Krieger right in front. Gets it back to Modic, and then gets it right back. And Krieger does not miss. So finally, after drawing the six on five, the Tigers are able to convert as Krieger with the goal, her 33rd goal on the season. So, Tiger. Big six on five count here for the Tigers. Megan Toy with the ball. Just over a minute to go here in the third quarter as that lobs. Megatore unable to secure her fifth goal. Goes just wide, so we are under a minute to go. Tigers in front, 10 to four. Ilovato with a hustle play back there for the Tigers. Stays out, so shot clock now off. 13 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Tigers in front, 10-4. A long range lob shot, nowhere close. Shot there from the Sunbirds from downtown, Julia Ponce. Yeah. That'll do it That's the end for of the, the third, third quarter. quarter. Lead. So after three quarters of play, the Pacific Tigers lead the Fresno Pacific Sunbirds 10-4. You're watching Pacific Water Polo on PacificTigers.com.
We head to the fourth quarter here at Chris Kelton Pool with the Pacific Tigers in front 10 with eight minutes to go here in the home opener for the Tigers as it'll be Halavata on the sprint for the Tigers. She won the sprint to start the third quarter. As the Tigers have won all three sprints so far here this afternoon. Megan Nee, eight saves so far in the afternoon in goal for the Tigers, while the offense has been led by Torrey's four goals, a career high. Halavata, a hat trick, now 50 goals on the season. Zmodic, two goals, and Krieger with one, while the Sunbirds led by Apodaca's two goals, and then a goal apiece by Gruthausen and Hansen, as once again the Tigers will win the opening sprint, although this one a little bit closer than the last couple. But Halavata makes it two for two for her on the afternoon, winning the sprint. And now an early six on five opportunity here as Emily Knowles draws the exclusion just seconds into the fourth quarter. Tigers two for three on the six on five. As they work it in and off the goalkeeper's hand and off the crossbar it goes, the chase for the rebound. And the Tigers chase it down. And once again, finds woodwork. Grudhausen with it here on the near side. The Sunbirds in the white caps going from right to left. Tigers in the black caps going from left to right. Stevens holding it up top, looking for somebody. Shot clock down to 10. And she will unleash a long range shot, and that one was on goal, and a, a nice save by Nee. Her ninth save, six into the fourth quarter. Actually, it'll be Holly, the excluded player. So, just the timeout to set up in advance. Uh, the Tigers now with it on the six on five. Krieger skips it and it goes off the post and back out. So Krieger looking for her second goal of the afternoon, unable to do so. so Tigers fail on two six on five opportunities here to open the fourth quarter, but Still in front, 10-4. Looking to improve to 3-0 in Golden Coast Conference play and win their home opener here this afternoon. A nice afternoon here in Stockton and now a six on five opportunity for the Sunbirds who are just one for seven. So far on the six on five. The one they converted was a deflected shot in the final second of the first quarter. As the Tigers have been outstanding defending the six on five and once again they defend it without really even giving up a shot as now they lose it and knee picks it up. You mentioned the weather's not too bad today but some weather concerns tonight and tomorrow but Softball, baseball also home, but the water polo the, the most likely not to have right, the weather cause them the not to the play as Krieger with the easy goal from right in front, her second goal of the afternoon and the lead is now 11 to four. So Krieger's second goal of the afternoon. Now 34 on the season. I mentioned the the rain tomorrow afternoon could cause softball to miss a game, but the nice thing about water polo is the rain's not really gonna mess up the field here. Already wet and in water. What's water coming down? Oh, outside of lightning or anything too serious. Tomorrow's game at 1 o'clock against number 20 ranked San Diego State. I'll
be here to call the action and hope you can join us either here at Chris Kelson Pool or online at PacificTigers.com as the Tigers now in front 11-4 here in the fourth quarter with just over five minutes to go. Rudhausen, and again, under 10 on the shot clock for the Sunbirds. As the Tigers defense has been outstanding here this afternoon. And the shot clock goes off before the shot from the Sunbirds. Outlet pass to Mankey, who has some room in front of her. Still with some room, and now over to Hurley. And the shot from right in front by Whittle. A great save there by Courtney Hall. Oh, despite giving up 11 goals, Hall has had a busy afternoon, and she had a nice save there to temporarily at least keep it at just 11. Tigers season high for goals in a game is 14. They've done that three times. Although the last of those coming back on February 21st. Tigers lead 11-4 here with just over four minutes to go as Hurley is swarmed. And now Hurley, a nice pass, and the finish from Elise Whittall, her first goal of the afternoon. That was a great pass from the senior Morgan Hurley right to Whittall, who able to grab it and one time it passed Hall for the goal. Whittall's third goal on the year and it's now 12 to 4 Next that shot goes wide by the Sunbirds it's Hurley Ponte and now a timeout is called by Sunbirds head coach Brian Zaholvi. It'll be a full timeout. We'll take a very short break and be right back. Pacific Leads 12 4. You're watching Pacific Water Polo on PacificTigers.com.
Three fifteen to go here at Chris Kelty with the Pacific Tigers leading the Fresno Pacific Sunbirds twelve to four. Timeout is coming to an end. Courtney Hall in goal for the Sunbirds has seven as a, an exclusion is called, and so the tenth six on five our Tigers six on five defense has been outstanding once again here this afternoon as that'll go off the crossbar and out. Mentioned coming into today, the Tigers had killed 18 of their last 20. And so far, have killed eight of nine this afternoon. As we are under three minutes to go, Tigers. Lead 12-4. And, and another exclusion penalty. And Megan Knee. So Knee in, in double digits now with saves. And so once again, the Tigers defense gives up a six on five, but does not give up a goal. As Holden. Now it's Hurley with it. All sorts of contact with Apodaca. And now long range shot there. Leading 12 to four. It was 10 to four after three and now 12 four. Shot clock down to 10. We will take the timeout as well as a minute 36 to go. Tigers lead 12 four on PacificTigers.com. So after the timeout, Sunbirds with it, looking for their first goal of the fourth quarter. And something to perhaps have a little bit of a positive here this afternoon as that shot goes over the top and out of play. So unable to capitalize on the six on five is the Sunbirds. As a long outlet pass there finds Holden. And now the shot saved. And we're under a minute to go. Pass looking for Grudhausen. Back to Ponce. Shot clock under 10. Game clock nearing 30 seconds to go. As the pass in the middle swarmed and that should do it as the shot clock is off. 
20 seconds to go here. As Hurley with it towards goal, and we'll see if she just backs out or unleashes a shot, and she does shoot it. She tried a lob shot that was saved by Hall, and that will do it. So, and that's a wrap. the Tigers open the home portion of their schedule with the win here this afternoon as the Tigers led 5-2 after a quarter of play as Megan Torrey with the hat trick just in the first quarter and that lead would extend to 7-3 at halftime as Torrey four goals a career high all four coming in the first half and then the Tigers extended the lead to 10-4 to before the 12 to four win here this afternoon. So that'll do it from Chris Kelton. Pull the Tigers will be back in action here tomorrow afternoon at one o'clock match against number 20 ranked San Diego State. Likely a battle for first place in the Golden Coast Conference. So we hope you can join us here for that. Or if not, I'll have to call for you on PacificTigers.com. So that'll do it here this afternoon as the Pacific Tigers defeat the Fresno Pacific Sunbirds 12-4. This was Pacific Water Polo on PacificTigers.com.